Hello everyone, today I want to show you how we can download a high resolution or a high quality image from Google Earth then we are referencing it by using ArcMap. Let's do it. Here you can search for uh, your preferred location. For example, Mishkolos, Tapolsa, Hungary. Tapolsa, Hungary. Search it. Yes. It's a beautiful location in Hungary. Zoom in. Okay. And from tools, then options. You see the latitude long uh, units, decimal degree, degree minute seconds, degrees decimal minutes. I choose degree minute seconds and unit of measurement meters kilometer you prefer which unit you can choose it apply okay then from view it's so important reset tilt and compass to see the image with 90 degrees now we can determine the points for example let be somewhat bigger let be there is a lake yes that's a lake let be this image okay determine point this point call it one here you can change the symbol i prefer this one and here color let be this red one okay okay and put it in desired location let be the first one here okay another one name two to the desired location okay third one let me here this corner forest one Then, okay, then from view, not here, then click this icon. From this icon, we have my op map options. You can uncheck all of these to see a clear image. And here we have a different resolution. The highest one is this one. So I already selected this one. Mm. before saving image make sure from reset tilt and compass it's so important before saving when you save image the point should be appeared save image study area mesh okay save now we have our image but from temporary place right click add folder name point mishkolk that's a uh, mishkolos that's a uh, folder i created then select all these four pointers and drag it to this folder okay then right click save place as point mishkolk let be yes it's good save and it's a kmz file now open your arc map remove this one open arc toolbox arc toolbox conversion tools 
from KML, KML to layer, open. My point is, is point mesh color, open it. Point mesh color, one. Okay, it's in process. Yes, then from add data, study area mesh color. Study area mesh colors. Add. The following data sources you added are missing spatial reference information. Yes, there is no projection, that's why inform us. Okay. Then, here we have georeferencing, but if you don't have, right click here, georeference. Find this one, georeference you get, this icon. Then, fit to display. Now it's great, we don't need this one anymore. Okay. Then from this icon, at control pointers, find the real one. You see the sizes uh, change. That's the point. This is the image. So drag this one to here. Yes. And so on for as a point is which one but we have to know yes this is a point this is image then drag this one to here you see and also this one to here Great. Remain only one point. You see, now they are so close to each other. It directly georeferenced it. You can if you want. Yes. Now we have an image with a Correct georeferencing. Okay. Then from georeference, update georeferencing. Yes. Now from our toolbox, go to data management tools and projection and transformations. To determine a specific projection for uh, our raster then raster project raster okay input raster that's my file drag it here it is GCS WGS 1984 uh, that's the current uh, projection system if you want to change from here for example, uh, from project coordinate system, go to UTM, then WGS 1984. You have to know your location located in Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere. For example, my location located in Northern Hemisphere, 28. That's my zone, so I select it. Okay. Okay. It will be uh, the project coordinate project system, projection coordinate system for the output file. Okay. Okay. You see the color is changed. And let's check from properties. Source You see WGS nineteen eighty four complex UTM zone twenty eighty nine. It is my location. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.